I have 10 kids. I have had three twin pregnancies. So I had our first set of spontaneous fraternal twin girls. The next twin pregnancy was Asher and Bryson. And then Emma was also a fraternal twin. We lost her twin, unfortunately. So we've been grocery shopping weekly. Um, and our weekly grocery shopping bill has been about $500, a little more, a little less sometimes. We're a family of 12. Um, my baby is full-time breastfed, and so that actually adds calories for me. I have to consume more calories to nurse him. So that's 11 of us. And then we also run an office from our house. So we have neighborhood kids who come and hang out and we feed them as well. So yes, yeah, so that's 12, 13 or so mouths to feed daily. We buy all organic whole foods just as an attempt to invest in our health now instead of having to pay for doctor bills and things like that later. Yeah, so that's about it's about $2,000 a month on food, which is a lot. <laughs> Amanda and her husband Chris met back in 2013 and tied the knot in 2014. The pair began trying for a baby almost immediately and now have a family of 10. One, two, three! <laughs> we bought over $500 worth of kids clothes today. Come check it out. We bought for the kids all winter clothes. We have 21 tops. We have 12 pairs of jeans, two pairs of sweats, and we have 28 jackets and sweaters, as well as another set of 12 gloves and hats. Bought each of these items at a 60% discount. Our total was $375, but with that 60% discount, we saved $211 and only paid $172 for everything. Now, could we afford brand new clothes for every single kid in our house? Yeah, we could. The thing is, as a family, we've decided that we'd much rather spend money on um, experiences, traveling and activities that would be a lot harder to afford if we poured our money into things like name brand or brand new clothes. So we choose experiences. Amanda received hundreds of comments regarding her family. One audience member asked her how she deals with the criticism on the app. The negative comments are always um, something about how there's no way that we can take care of them all, know them all, provide for them all, be ready for their futures, help them be prepared for the future. Um, you know, those kind of things. Those are the comments. And so I hear them every single day. And I think first, it's important, most important to me to validate people's feelings. The truth is there absolutely are families out here who are failing their kids, large families, small families. So just kind of coming from that place of like mindfulness that I can validate them and let them know that it is, I share in those very, very same concerns. And then if anyone sticks around long enough to actually have a conversation with me, I'm happy to share with them many of the things that we do in our household. We're a large family. We drive a 15 passenger van. Hi. We're a large family. When one of us gets sick, we all get sick. We're a large family. We have never-ending laundry. Yeah, I love family. So I love family. Tic-tac-toe. To kind of just combat any of those concerns they might have. So not being there for our kids. Well, both my husband and I work remotely. So we're here every single day. And our kids are homeschooled. So we are literally, <laughs> literally with them 24 seven. And it's hard not to know each other really well when you spend all your time together. Um, any dreams and, and things that we wanna do with our life, we involve our children in. We pursue things that they love as well. And all of that just helps, helps us get to know each other better and gives us time to, to never leave anyone feeling lost in the mix of kids or something like that. Amanda uses the popular social media platform TikTok to post updates about her large family. Follow-up questions. How many kids do you want in your own family when you have kids? Five to ten. Okay. Five boys and five girls. Okay. Five boys. I want to be ten girls and that's it. Just, just 
girls. So I want 10 girls and one boy. I want a lot of boys and one girl. Girls! How many kids do you want in your family, Eli? Four. Four. Emma, how many kids do you want in your family? I want two babies. You want that many babies? Five? What's your name and how old are you? My name is Logan and I'm 13 years old. My name is Ryan and I'm 11 years old. My name is Liam and I'm 8. My name is Maya and I'm 7. My name is Mia and I'm 7. My name is Asher and I'm 6. My, my name is Bryson and I'm 6. What's your name and how old are you? Um, my name is Eli. And how old are you? Um, four. Yes. What's your name and how old are you? Um, seven. You're not seven. What's your name? Um, uh, Emily. Yes. How old are you? Three. Two. Two. Yes. A huge thank you to Amanda for letting us share her story. And we wish her and the family all the best for the future. Amanda's family is so cute and her audience thinks so too. One commenter said, beautiful family. And another said, would you have any more? To which Amanda replied back, for sure. Thanks for watching Ultimate.